just a weapon. Yeah, he uh he like a dual threat as you would call it, or like a triple threat as you would call it for a running back. I mean, he can both run, catch. I mean, block a little bit too. So I mean, the fact that he's able to do all those things, I mean, you can tell he's very dynamic. Not the biggest guy either, but mm. he's not afraid to get physical. I mean, he, mm. can, he can, he's proven he can take a pounder. Oh, no doubt, man. He's one of those guys that's proven that he can get the job done, whatever it is that they ask for him to do. So, you know, just uh, up to us as a defense to make sure we, you know, contain him. QB filled in for Cam. I know mm. he struggled last week against San Fran, but he's played pretty well. Mm -hmm. that. Yeah, um, I would say the uh, Kyle Allen guy, he's, he's, he's a really good quarterback. Um, the fact that he's able to be able to do the things that he's done, you know, in absence of Cam, you know, it's, it's, he's done a hell of a job. Uh, you know, it's a bummer the fact that I don't know if Cam is going to be able to play. We'd love to play against him. But, uh, you know, for right now, man, we'll be preparing for Kyle. Sorry if you answered. You, you, you watch much of Keekly and mm -hmm. learn much from watching him? Oh, yeah, I watch Keekly all the time. Uh, Keekly, one of, another great guy who's been in the league for as long as he's been, man. Um, still doing some great things and being able to play at a high level like he has, man. Um, you know, just as a linebacker, you want to try to get as much, uh, you know, you know, information as much, you know, knowledge as you can from a guy like him, Bobby White, and all those guys have been in the league for a long time. Just getting those things and, you know, that can help you and you, you know you can use in your own arsenal. He, uh, Tannehill was saying, like, he's a guy when you break the huddle, mm -hmm. he knows what your calls are, no he knows doubt. what your checks are. He's a middle yeah. linebacker. I mean, how important is that mm -hmm. and how much – how much do you admire a guy that, that does that much film study and just kind of knows what the other options are? Yeah, you got uh, to respect it. Um, the fact that he's able to, you know, recognize formations and be able to call it out like he does. You know, um, the guy de definitely puts – he's one of those guys that really is a hard worker in his shows on Sunday. So um, just to be able to see that as a young linebacker, be able to, you know, go back and use that in my own game, be able to even study even more than what I'm doing now, um, you know, it just makes you that much better. You guys have had to – Oh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, very important. Um, you know, I feel like we've been teaching that all year. But um, as many guys as you can, as you can get to the uh, to the ball carry, um, it, you know, it heightens your chances of getting that getting that guy down. So for us, um, everybody, you know, full tilt to the tackle is one of our little model things where we, you know, we're literally trying to get as many guys to the ball as possible. And you know, once we do that, I feel like we'll be playing pretty good defense. Yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, even then, um, with the swarmer to the tackle, I mean, you know, you, you, you get paid in the league for making tackles like that, for making one-on-one -on -one tackles. So each individual, I mean, even though we, we you know, we swarm to the ball, we want to make sure that the guy that's there, we want to get him down. So, um, you know, that's just a, another thing as far as a challenge for us to be able to go up against another great guy like that and be able to have a challenge of that.